We're gonna get started today by heading to the to the scrapper to clear up some stuff. Was this actually an upgrade? No, I think I saw this last time, and I kept thinking it wasn't actually an upgrade. Um, then once we hit the scrapper up, we're gonna go up here to fond farewells. I don't actually know if I know how to get there, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. And then eventually, I do need to get over here, but I'm I, I'm not sure the I kind of mentioned this last episode. I think I'm not sure how prioritized that needs to be to get there. Um, so eventually, where am I? Wait, wait, where am I? Yeah, this is the right spot, right? Am I? Did I go the wrong way out of here? I think it's over on this side. How did I? Wait, yeah, um, it's definitely not down any further. Ooh, I will take one of these though. I'm not sure how long it's going to matter because <laughs> that, that's one of the worst things I think is this 20 minute duration on this. I mean, it's. Oh, no, this is the right spot. Okay, I just ran too far. I didn't know that Loa shrine was there. It's good to know. Yeah, so it's a little. Um, it's all said that the honoring the Loas isn't a little longer duration. Even like 30 minutes, I think, would be not unreasonable. Like, it wouldn't feel over. Howard. Um, in my opinion, but maybe maybe Blizzard knows what they're doing. Um, but yeah, 20 minutes, I mean, by the time I fly somewhere, I practically lose that, so I don't know. Um, okay, we're good and scrapped, and let's grab quick vendor. Drop off, repair, whatever. Show me your coin, and I will show you my wares. Okay, solid. We're gonna be up to 162,000 gold. Not really that much, but um, it feels like a ton. But I know it's actually not really that much. I know people that have like 15 million gold. I'm sure the record is something like 100 million plus. Um, okay, so we're going to our West turn in over here, which apparently has a follow up. A caravan brutosaur? What happens if I jump on this? Um. Huh. Trying to scare these guys away. Hey, it worked. I wonder if there's a purpose of this, besides just for fun. That's cute. Okay, well, let's go turn in our quest. This is what's more important. Um, what is this? Uh, the Wizati reads the note and wipes a tear from her eye. You may choose to forget, but I choose to remember. No matter what pain it brings me, at least he is safe. Aloha watch over him. Cool. Slate eight thieving snappers in the Zokolo. Is the Zokolo? It's like a fruit market, maybe? Let me guess, the Sorid stole something of yours as well. Eh? Look, I don't have the time to run down every little thing these ankle biters snap off with. You want some coin? Help me kill some of these snappers. Otherwise, leave me be. Okay. Sure. I mean, why not? Kind of a weird... There's so many weird little side quests I've noticed leveling here. I don't remember this many. You know, I wasn't... The thing is, when I started doing Legion leveling... I didn't really have a sense of, like, chapters weren't something I was looking for to complete. I didn't really know anything about them. Um, I eventually obviously figured out, you know, that chapters were a thing. But at least at first I wasn't, you know, looking for chapters to complete. Um, because I didn't, I, I didn't have chapters when I had played, going from vanilla. Um, oh, there's some pests there. What else do I need? Um, two more. Yeah, we can get him. Uh, so anyway, so I didn't look out for chapters. So now, though, leveling in BFA, I have a, you know, a sense of these things. Um, because I've, you know, leveled in Legion and I'm aware about how chapters work. Um, so I've been looking for them. Whoa, what the heck? Let's kill this guy. This guy has a lot of health. 
Oh, I'm just gonna follow the big one. I was like, I'm not gonna kill this guy. All right, apparently this is not where I should go. Or not, not who I should be killing, I should say. He's also fast. Let's get a head start. Where's he going? Did I break him? Ah, I found him, okay. Mysterious trash pile. Whoa, Johnny, Loa of the Scavengers. Pests, a thief has come to steal from thieves? Interesting, I'm being choked out here. Disturbingly divine presence. This is so weird. Um, survive the trial of Johnny, okay, what is this? <clears throat> okay, thief and killer now know that you have be standing before the patron of scavengers, the lord of thieves, the god of garbage, master of minions, and the keeper of secrets. You'll be standing before me in raiment worth entire kingdoms of gold bearing weapons that cost more than even me most devout renowned followers will ever earn. I think now would be a good time to teach you a lesson, maybe show you high and mighty greatness what it means to be snapping into gutters. Awesome. Beware of spiders, my little soul. I may be the god of secrets, but Yasma be the mistress of spies. She loves to keep her scattering pests within okay, my whatever. domain. Always haunt the mature. I kind of want to take a picture, but I can't do it because I'm being chased down by a stupid guard. Try this. Oh, that's a that's my snake. It's following me. I was like, "What is that snake? It's following." Let's 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 do this. Okay. Um. So I have to reach him, but maybe not get spotted by guards. Maybe it's okay to get spotted by guards. Oh, 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 I see. That spider, I didn't see it originally. Interesting. Okay, so don't get eaten by spiders. Got it. Got him. Amazing. Amazing. What a good quest. <laughs> this is very funny. Okay. So I've pleased the Loa of Scavengers. Curse of Johnny. Haha, <laughs> well done, wealthy stranger. When you out and about in these isles, in these lands, keep your eyes open. You never know when one of the children might be pointing you to, useful, to a useful place. If I click this, what happens? Okay. Wow, that was weird. Um, now I guess we have to keep an eye out for... Baby lizards. Doing baby lizard stuff. Fun, that was cool. I'm glad I did do that quick turn in and came over here. Um, well, we're gonna head back to Voldoon, obviously, and work on... We've got a few quests, actually. Um, someone mentioned me to not forget my Underrot quest, and I didn't forget it. I am gonna run all those dungeons, but I kind of... I... I, I you know, I, I kind of got the impression that I should wait till I'm 120 to do the dungeons. Um, I don't know if that is actually sensible if I'm wasting my time by waiting, but... Kind of felt like that was reasonable. I think this is... Can I get up this way or am I making this up? Gosh, I don't even know if this is the right way. I feel like I'm just trying to see if I can get around or get through the temple over this way. Ooh, a training dummy. 
That's good. Yeah, this should work. It's kind of... I still get lost in this place. The Great Seal. I still get lost here frequently. It's just, um... It's not that it's that confusing, but it is a little bit of a maze. In my opinion. I should just mount up. I don't know what I'm doing. There we go. What's this mount called? Core Steel Bound Devourer? Someone sent me this mount because I saw it somewhere. I was like, it's such a cool mount. It's still one of the coolest looking mounts in my opinion. Look at that thing. It's like a green skinned version of a core hound. Okay, wow. So we're actually sort of... Oh yeah, we got these quests. I forgot about these. Um, Let's go do these. We got our flight path right there anyway. We might as well do it. Some changes on the screen here on my webcam. Uh, let's see, it's backwards. So I'm gonna point. This is my my pop filter for my uh, microphone, which I've always had, but I've recently moved my microphone a little bit closer to my face. I'd actually like to get some like some foam panels because right over here, you can't see it off screen, is a is the corner of my room, and I think we get some echo from that, especially. There's like a door and then a, a short wall. There's also windows here, I can't really do much about that. But it would be nice to put a few foam panels there. But this is also like our guest room, you can't see it, but on like this side, over here, like that way, that way, is a bed, so it's like our guest room. So I don't want to make it overly office-like in here, it's already got a, like a computer with two screens and my wife's computer is over there. Um, and this here is a wireless wireless Bluetooth speaker. It's a Harman Kardon brand speaker. Um, not sponsored by them, but it's actually a really nice speaker. We got it as a gift for Christmas a few years back. Um, we use it all the time. We actually just happened to have it in here yesterday. We were listening to music. That's why it's there and I just haven't moved it. And then over here, this is obviously a cork board that we hung up recently. And there's actually nothing on it right now obvious oh well, you can't really see obviously there's nothing on it right now um so things are a little bit different looking over the last few days but you know it is what it is and then this is like a target bag yeah it's like a target bag it's got some crafting supplies in there for my wife's um okay so that, that, that's the two minute discussion about what is going on in the room around me which is not necessarily highly relevant but it is what it is. Alright, let's start sniping people. Does it actually kill them? or No, it doesn't. Okay, they do interrupt. That's annoying. I was wondering if I could like shoot a few in a row easily. I mean, I could if I was faster with it. But they do interrupt people. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm trying to get in the habit a little bit more of killing more than one mob at a time. Um, it's not that hard to do so. What is this debuff? Rip. Physical damage inflicted every three seconds. Okay, whatever. I'm um, sure. It's a training dummy out here. It seems kind of random. Fire damage inflicted every three seconds. They are being cooked alive, thanks to me. Very cool. Um, sort of cool. Kind of weird, actually. I know I can move this um, weapon down to my hotbar down here. I'm just being lazy and doing it this way because it works. Apparently I'm not the only one working on this quest. Uh, what else? Where's some other ones? There's a couple. These are kind of boring quests. Like, I sort of had a feeling when I was, got these quests why I kind of skipped them because I was like, these are kind of kind of boring. Um, like they're not, they're not, I don't know, they're just not the most thrilling to me. Um, the story didn't seem that interesting either right here, so I'm not, oh man, I didn't even get one. I wonder if that's because a guy hit it before I got to it. Or if it's just they don't always drop it, maybe. This thing's weird. It's like running away from us. Oh, we need a new pet. I've got so many pets, I feel like it's a requirement that I uh, cycle through them. Really? What's the 
the drop rate really isn't as good as it should be. <laughs> um, I'm, you know, being sarcastic there, but man, that'd be nice if we had a little better drop rate. Probably stunning that guy wasn't the best decision. Yeah, that was stupid. Now I'm just sitting here like trying to aggro him, or trying to get in range of him. Here we go, done? Yes. Wait. Yes, done, okay. Let's go turn in this quest since we're right here anyway. It's the closest one, in case there's a quick follow-up. What you need? Voldoon fr Voldoony fried chicken. It may not be chicken, but it's food. With enough seasoning, nobody will know the difference. Mmm, sounds great. Every everything tastes like chicken, right? Trust anyone. I think it's the U.S. Chicken Board, um, the U.S. Poultry Board, that really did an incredible marketing job by getting the mm, "tastes like chicken" uh, phrase into the American lexicon. Um, so we need dung beetle innards and alpaca herded. There's also a quest over here. What is this? A wasteland survivor. No, it's not a survivor. Collect 10 scavenged supplies. The leather has become dry and cracked in the sun, but the supplies inside are mostly intact. It's unknown what gruesome death befell the backpack's former owner, but supplies like these are in high demand among the outcasts. The desert has claimed many lives. Perhaps there are more supplies that to be found among the dunes. Cool. I was like, why am I a troll all of a sudden? And now I remember why. Because of my, um... <laughs> Interesting. Because of my... Um... What is it called? The thing that changes your appearance when you pickpocket someone as a rogue. It's like a toy that I have or that I picked up a long time ago, I think. What is that? Hey, at least my um, frog loa stuff lasted long enough to be of some use. But dang. Get back over here. Why is this not working? Maybe I already heard of that guy? I don't know. Strange. Oh well. Maybe someone else heard of that guy already? That's probably what it is. And it's running back. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, someone else is definitely hurting these guys. Hurting, not hurt, hurting, hurting. You know, I'll say, I haven't talked about my work. Maybe I have talked about my work a lot. I, I feel like I haven't talked about my work much recently. And I, you know, it's kind of an interesting story. But uh, the, the long story short is I really enjoy my research. Um, sometimes I feel like I don't fit in with my lab that well. Just like the people there. Not like that they're bad people or anything, but we just have a lot of different interests, so I'm not super close with any of them. And they're, they're, they're nice people, and we, we work together well, and we help each other out with stuff. I'm trying to save you, Alpaca. What's that? What the heck? Um, this one apparently is violent. Oh my gosh. And it disorients people. Or player characters, at least. Um, so I don't spend much time with my lab mates outside of lab. Oh, okay. So it, it did work. I just had to beat it up a little bit first. Um, and so with that in mind, it's kind of like... A part of me is kind of excited to leave the lab. Not that I'm leaving anytime soon necessarily, but more so because if I leave, it means I'm moving to what will probably be a permanent position for me. Um, like right now, I'm a postdoc, and those are really, I like to think of postdocs, uh, an easy way to describe them for people that are unfamiliar, it's a paid internship for people with a PhD. That's basically what a postdoc is. You get a lot of training, and you are working towards building a resume so that you can... Um, go on to do whatever you want to do afterwards. In some cases, in, in many cases, if you're doing a postdoc at a university, it's because you want to be a professor at a university eventually. That's what I would want to do, um, is my main goal. But there's other things I'd be, I'd be happy to do as long as I'm still involved in research in some capacity, like um, working for the government, like a government lab, working at an industry job. Um, um, you know, as long as I'm in research in some capacity, I will be happy, I think, with my career. So, but I'm working for a professorship, that's what I'd like to do. So it's, it's a long shot, it's a lot of work, and there's a lot of applicants, and not a lot of openings. So we'll see. But if I, um... That's what I'm working on, to working towards. So if I end up, you know, leaving here, it's probably because I'm going somewhere that'll hopefully be permanently. 
Um, and I could be here for another three to four years even as a postdoc. Um, I'm hoping to be done within the next three. That'd be five years total as a postdoc. I'm really hoping not to spend more time here than that. Just on the basis that I want to get somewhere permanent, you know. Um, but anyway, I'm happy with my work. Um, it could be better in some ways, but it's not bad. But there's, you know, always ways it could be better, but mostly I'm looking forward to running my own lab someday more than anything, which is my biggest motivator for going into lab every day, is that I enjoy science, but I can't wait to get my own lab set up. Tell me, stranger, have you heard the legend of Zem Lam? Don't scare him away, Nora. Hmm. Got anything for me? Where is this quest hub? How did I not see this already? Okay. Legends say that a mountain of treasure sits deep inside the port of Zem Lam, pillaged from every corner of Azeroth, but it's guarded by unkillable eternal monsters. No Volpera or Exile has ever stolen treasure from the port of Zem Lam and made it out alive. My caravan was going to be the first. Our scout Miki snuck in to figure out a route, but he never came back. It would be wisest for you to leave here and never return, but if you go into the port, please find Take Miki. Will. Huh. I didn't want to bring back any treasure. Okay, find and kill Tazraka the Traitor. To, to all caravans and travelers, beware Tazraka the Traitor, a skeleton ambushing travelers on the road near Port of Zemlan. If you must travel on that road, move quickly and avoid entering any of the ruins. Several caravans have combined resources to offer a reward for Tazraka's death. To collect, speak with Nora. Okay. Cool. Well, we weren't really planning on doing some of these quests, but let's go. Let's go. Let's go kill Tezrock. What is this? Damage taken increased by 10%. Damage done increased by 20%. Eh. I'll take that trade off. Being a rogue's quite nice. Oh, there's our. I didn't really spend much time looking at this guy when I summoned him. But he's cute. Little puddle terror. I like him. I do like being a rogue because I can just like absolutely run through whatever I want and then vanish to get out of combat very easily. It's kind of like a hunter's feign death. Um, it's very similar, in fact. This guy can't be stunned. That's good to know. Um, this guy's a lot of health, actually. I don't know if I'm going to can finish his fight. Like, I actually just popped all my cooldowns and he's still barely dying. Which is actually really, really scary for me. I really can't stun him. Wow. That guy actually requires... I'm gonna die. Oh my gosh. That's my first death. Um, okay, could I kill that guy? Is there a way I could? I can't stun him. So it kind of limits a lot of my options. A repost helped a lot, but then as soon as that... Well, look at you, huh. the mighty hero. <laughs> <laughs> I'm amused that Buon Samdi is my spirit guide. Um, that's cute. That's the first time we've died, I think, in BFA. I don't think I've died before this. I apologize to the sirens going by. Okay, well, I'm not killing that guy. Is there a group for this guy? Sure. Wait a see. Maybe it'll pop up. Um, let's go finish our scavenge supplies quests and our dung beetle quest, because we're, we've are we already been working on that. We're almost done. We can just wrap them up real quick, I think. But, oh, man. That guy was rough. People said it gets a little bit tougher after 116 or so. And I wasn't, I don't know if that's an example of that or if that's just coincidence that that is a tougher mob to kill. Sure, why not? Uh, is it the first time I've led a group? I think it is. We could probably do it. I bet we could. I mean, I got him to like 60% on my own. Demon Hunters are, in my mind, absolutely insane. So, you know. 
I'll need scavenger supplies. Um, all right. Let's go back over there and see. What is this? A pre? No, no. This is a a priest, but listed as a DPS. It's a shadow priest. Cool. Um. Okay, we're actually doing this now? Sure. I wasn't really ready for this, but uh, why not? Um, I need to update a few add-ons on I? I got the, uh... Do I have aggro? Okay, I don't want aggro. <laughs> I was like, I don't want aggro. Um, I got the curse or a twitch add-on. So nice. I've talked this before, but it's amazing. It's that's a game changer. Cool. Well, that worked out well. Found a group pretty fast, actually. It's kind of impressive. Glad I um, did that. I didn't expect that to work for some reason. I don't know, but I guess there's a lot of people out here still leveling like me. So makes sense. More people leveling their Alts? I have to say the word right, otherwise people get mad at me. Alternative? Alts? Yeah. Leveling your Alts. <laughs> Not Alt. I still think Alt sounds better, but whatever. Alright, let's turn in these quests. Need something? Um, a bounty worth paying, thank you. Don't die out there. This star moss... <clears throat> excuse me. This star moss just grows, like, all over cities and stuff, doesn't it? Let's go turn in these other. Well, let's 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 go turn these other two quests. I can always have like you can always hear my internal struggle about what quest to turn in when, or if I should go do another quest before I turn in one. I try to err on the side of turning in quests sooner and not holding them forever, because a lot of times they lead to other quests. Hello, man. Apaka's gone wild. Looks like you recovered most of the herd. Good work, even though Majambo and his henchmons will probably murder us in our sleep and take the alpacas for themselves. Yeah, that's that's the spirit. But yeah, you know, if things lead to other quests, it's kind of nice to turn them in as soon as I reasonably can. Mystery meat. Do you have the mystery ingredient for the mystery meat pie? Just look at these juicy intestines. We'll have enough pies to feed the entire camp. Ah, says a jinn rummages through his cooking ingredients in frustration. Where is Junji? I sent him to scavenge for vulture eggs, but he hasn't returned. Says a jinn pauses for a moment. He was just going on about the size of sarlisk eggs, but those oversized lizards are far too dangerous for a boy. He can't possibly be so foolish. If he has gone to the sarlisk breeding grounds, he may already be dead. Yikes. Please find him before it's too late. Um... So he might be, have been eaten by lizards, that's good to know. Uh, let's go turn in this quest. Hello, man. I see you made a scavenging run and came back alive. We'll put these supplies to good use among the tribe. You have my thanks. That was an easy quest over here. What is this? This is the alpaca guy, I think, has a quest for us. He didn't have this quest just before. Maybe that was from a scavenging quest to open this up. Snarl Toots last laugh for Chief Snarl Toots head. It's not just Mojambo's gang we have to worry about. We also need to keep a watchful eye at night due to frequent hyena attacks. The most dangerous of the hyenas in is Snarl Tooth. He ambushes us at night, laughing maniacally as he slaughters his prey. I need you to slay the beast once and for all. Snarl Tooth's den is just south of the arena in the arid basin. Okay. Well, these are at least all kind of near each other. <clears throat> well, I found where our buddy's hiding, I think. Or where he died, but probably hiding. You can't fool me, Sarlisk. I know you're out there waiting to eat me. Oh wait, you're a grown-up. Please get me out of here. Help. Savage Sarlisks. Uh, slate 8 scale saw Sarlisks in the arid 
Okay, I'm just gonna click through this real quick so I can kill this guy. Okay, I'm assuming that was a fairly basic explanation of a quest. Uh, Sarlisk eggs are the most delicious eggs in the desert. I mean, I've even I've never tried them myself. Okay, yeah, but look at the size of them. They're huge. Bigger is better, right? I don't agree with them. Sometimes if you go to the store and you buy a larger fruit, especially with apples, I notice like the larger ones don't taste better. They're good for pies maybe, but they're not better tasting than smaller apples. Life pro tip there. Um, if I go back to camps empty-handed, Sezajin is going to kill me. We have to get some of those eggs. You sound a lot older and stronger than I am. Gather up the eggs so we can take them back for everyone to eat. Don't worry about me. I'll wait here for you. It's not like I'm going anywhere. Okay, well, sounds reliable. Um, so we need eggs, and there's a big named dude down here. Let's go get the named guy. Who's apparently in this cave? Yeah, okay. Oh, he's a hyena. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I think I knew that. I, uh, yeah. Oh man, I love Adrenaline Rush so much. It's definitely one of my favorite skills for rogues. Not as much as Old Blade Flurry. New Blade Flurry is fine. Old Blade Flurry is better. In my opinion. But what do I know? Okay, what is this? Infected bite. Nature damage inflicted every three seconds. Okay, whatever. Let's uh, do that. So we need some eggs. How many eggs do I get from one of these? Okay, one by one. I have to click them. That's fine. Um. Yeah. Well, we're, I, I, one consistent theme here is we're pillaging a lot. I feel like a lot of what we're doing is taking from the environment or taking from trolls or whatever, undead trolls or things like that. Um, a lot of artifacts we've recovered. Ooh. A sword. People tell me there's not enough weapons in uh, in BFA, but I'm sure that's not exactly what they were talking about, is random world drops. These guys apparently like to cast stuff. I'm just going to make myself immune to that. We're very close to 117. We should hit that today, I think. I'm expecting to anyway, which is nice. I'm excited to ding. Um, what else do we need? Ooh, a brood mother. That's a big one. Um, and then once we ding, I think one of the first things we want to do is run a looking for raid, which is probably, gonna, I mean, like once 8, 120, which is going to be a little while still, um, probably like a week or more at the rate I'm playing, which is a little unfortunate, cause I ended, but I heard week one just opened. I think it'd be a lot of fun to get into uh, LFR quickly, while everyone still is terrible at it. Oh, this is a rare spawn. I just realized that. Wow. Um, I was not paying attention to what it was. I knew it was a big named mob, but I didn't realize what it was actually, that it was a rare spawn. I thought it was like a different type of standard mob, not, not a rare spawn, but that's fine. We'll get it. These stuns are nasty, though. Um, should probably be just interrupting those more. I can't interrupt that. That works, that works. Okay. Got him. Thick paleo steak. Cool. Yeah, so I think it'd be really fun to run LFR right away um, while everyone's still terrible at it and doesn't know what they're doing. I think there's like a certain level of fun in that. Um, I really, I promise I will get into some actual mythic and other stuff um, on this tune this time. One of the things that happened in Legion was that I was, um, by the time I started playing, everyone else was already max level by a long shot, and most of the raid content was already out. I think the only thing that came out after I started playing was Argus, I think. Um, that's not really a huge, great excuse, but I was just behind enough, and I'm so slow at playing that I never really got to a point where I had enough time and caught up. But I'd like to do some mythics and stuff. Um, and I'm in a guild that actually actively raids, um, so which is great. So I might be able to tag along for some things later on. I, I mean, I did run a mythic and on my on this rogue in in Legion, 
And it honestly was like, by the time I did it, everyone was so well geared that it was just like a complete, like, pushover. Like, it was, it was like instant cleared. Now I know there's things like Myth Mythic Plus and other stuff that I could have done that I hadn't done. So I recognize a lot of stuff I just never saw in Legion, unfortunately. Um, and I am disappointed in myself for not taking the time to do more of those things. Admittedly, I think leveling is one of my favorite things in WoW, but endgame stuff is also really fun, and it's what I used to do the most when I was like a vanilla player back when vanilla was the only content. We'll be back to that in a moment to finish turning these quests. The Sarlisks are all gone and safe to come out? Thank you so much. I never thought I'd make it out of here alive. Uh, do you have? Yeah, yeah. You have the eggs. Be careful not to break them. Just roll them under the box. Gently, gently, no. Hmm. What does holding shift do? That's weird. Um, this would be a decent item level upgrade over my 232 trinket. Let's get that. Okay. Hey, it's Junji. Oh, that's good. Because apparently, I was like, where's the star moss? It's apparently hidden back here. That's a good spot to put it. Okay. So now, we can turn in Snarl Tooth's last laugh. And then we're gonna eventually go to the port of Zemlan? Zemlan down there. Let's turn this quest in first while we're here. <laughs> and then. We have that wanted quest up there. What, what? We're almost done with all the chapters here. Storming the Spire and a Tool Amon. I assume these quests, the missing key, is the next one that leads us to the next chapter. These are all just side quests. Snarltooth's last laugh. Did you take care of Snarltooth? I did. It's good to finally see that hyena got what he deserved. If you're strong enough to slay Snarltooth, maybe we stand a chance against Majambo's gang. Who am I kidding? We're dead meat. I'm very amused with this guy's um, tepper temperament or outlook on life. He's very bummed out. I'm looking at my gear. I still have the same hat piece, I think, that I've had for a long time. Maybe? Yeah. It's Bloodfang, so it's I transmogged early on in BFA, like once, and then I stopped transmogging, so I think that might be something I picked up early in BFA. Okay. Uh, Zal Jin motions for you to come closer. He is clearly drunk. Uh, if I had information concerning Wajambo, how much would that worth be worth to you? Um, you don't believe me? Nobody suspects a drunk. I hear all sorts of things. What do you have to lose? All it will cost is a bottle of Hick Zanchuli Reserve. What is Saman? Okay. I assume I just bought, yeah, I buy it from the innkeeper. Fair. What you need. 95 gold. What a rip off. I was thinking it'd be like 90 silver. Here's the rum. Tell me what you heard. Ah, it's been years since I tasted Zen Truly Reserve. You held up your end of the bargain, so I'll hold up mine. He's gonna definitely pass out. I spotted Mujambo's gang scouting the arena. I heard them, s them say that Mujambo hired reinforcements for the battle. Tonga's crew be backing him up now. Ah well, at least I tasted Zanchuli Reserve one hick last time before I die. Well, that's a wonderfully useful quest. I'm sure it actually is useful, but it seems not that useful. No one deserves this fate. Well, Jumbo is teaming up with an outside gang to attack us? I knew he meant business, but I didn't expect him to go this far. We need to come up with a plan as soon as possible. Oh wow, quests. Tongo retrieved Tongo's head. If Mojambo hired Tongo's gang, this is starting to sound like a rap. If Mojango hired Tango, Tango's gang, as reinforcements, we're in even more trouble than we first thought. Tango is a cruel and sadistic marauder who takes great delight in suffering. His gang is notorious for torturing their prey. We won't be able to defend ourselves against both gangs at once. Our only chance of survival now is to strike first. If you take out Tango before the ambush, Mojambo will be expecting reinforcements that never arrive. We may be able to use that to our advantage. 
stolen goods, recover six stolen goods. We've done a lot of recovering of stolen or lost goods or artifacts in BFA, especially here in Voldoom. It was brought to my attention recently that many of our supplies went missing overnight. I suspected that Tongo's crew was behind the theft, but we didn't have the strength or numbers needed to confront them. I want you to search to hide out for signs of our missing supplies. If there's anything left when you arrive, bring it back here and I'll make sure you're compensated. If we're going to survive more Jumbo's assault, we're going to need those stolen supplies back as soon as possible. And retrieve eight sand-worn blades. Uh, we only have enough weapons to armor half of the tribe against Majumbo's gang. We're going to need more weapons. Tonga's crew should have a ready supply. Search to hide out. Okay, we're killing their leader and gearing up. That's a pretty easy summary of what we're doing. They should be mostly push over. This guy's not even attacking me. There we go. So what are you doing, dude? Fight back, at least. I can see that mobs are taking a little bit longer to kill at, um, from one, like in the last hour or so of gameplay. It seems like they're a little bit slower to kill. So I don't know if it's like a hard wall at, oh, where's Tongo? Tongo is apparently in here. Let's go get him. I don't know if it's like a hard wall at 116, but it does feel like things are a little bit slower at this point. Okay, let's just couple of these guys and sure. Wasn't exactly what I was planning to do, but it's a work. Um, I didn't. I really did not mean to aggro on those things, um, but sure. Stop that regeneration. I always forget of tr trolls having high regeneration, like uh, inherently high health regen. Isn't that a thing? Like, don't they have, like, if you play as a troll, you get higher health regen? Which, not like significantly higher, but slightly higher. Um, I don't know if that's still a racial trait. I think that was true, though. Or they had a racial ability to regen a bit. I forget how it worked. Okay, got him. Now we need to kill a few more trolls and loot some swords. Tiny Loa Effigy, that's cute. Um, so we have to kill, get six more blades and six more stolen supplies. There's a blade, there's a blade. So they dropped the blades too. Where are the supplies? I haven't actually seen it yet. There, there's a supply. Or I've seen them, but I haven't looted any, I should say. Okay. I guess we'll kill these guys too, just to get more of the blades quickly. We're almost done with the blades anyway. Actually, I don't know if it makes sense to kill these guys. I should just get just the supplies. Oh, I'm not invisible, am I? There we go. Better. Hmm. There really is a lack of supplies. Like, relative to swords and other stuff. Um. There we go. This is what I'm talking about. Two, two or three in here. Looks good. Oh, crud. Alright, just gonna kill all these guys. There's another supply back there, I think. Yeah, I think so. Okay, our blades should be done after killing this mob, I think. Sap that. Uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, two more supplies and we can head back. We should ding by turning in these quests, by the way. Maybe some supplies down here. Yeah, some supplies down here. Um. This one be mine. Okay. I'm gonna kill this guy. So, I, uh, I will say... Trolls I find relatively boring as mobs. I've, I've said this maybe four or five episodes back. They're not the most exciting of mobs to kill, in my opinion. Um, like to get out of combat. Why am I in combat? I guess I must have done something that linked me to this mob. They're just not the most exciting mobs to me in terms of... I don't know. In terms of mobs to kill, I find trolls kind of boring. And maybe it's because I've seen trolls forever. You know, they've been around since 
since vanilla, uh, since alpha, and it's at the end of the world, but they're just not that exciting. Um, but but I'm not bored with killing them. I just I, I I do find them a little bit dull overall. Has Tonga been defeated? With Tonga out of the way, all we have to worry about now is Mojambo. And we dinged. We're now 117. That's very cool. We're getting closer and closer. Three more dings. That'll be the last time we ding for a year and a half, probably, until the next expansion. You've located the supplies, and they appear mostly intact. You've done a great service for our tribe, Super Dead. These ancient blades may not be the best in the best condition, but they are finely forged. I am sure they will hold up in battle just fine. Arm 8 Scorched Sands Outcasts. We spotted some of Tongo's gang scouting the arena while you were away. It seems this may be to calm before the storm. We need to get the weapons you brought back from Tongo's hideout into the hands of our fellow outcasts. Mojavo's gang could attack any minute now. We need to be prepared. Take the weapons and get them to the unarmed members of the tribe. Mojambo thinks he can raid our home without a fight. He's got another thing coming. Trust anyone. Okay. Well, this isn't easy. Can I arm the drunk guy? Navarro's flask? Don't mind if I do. Hmm. I really just wanted to uh, arm him. No one deserves this fate. All right, we're we're arming the the, the squads. Hello, man. This guy's got, she's got like a, a hammer she was practicing with. There you go. We are gearing up for battle here. No one deserves this fate. If there's one thing I don't like about my UI, I do like these things in the center from when I'm in combat. I hate it when I'm clicking on people. Because I, I misclick onto them a lot. Hello, man. Like they kind of overlap around where I'm standing, obviously. No Which is why I put them there, so they're near where my tune is, so I can keep track of them easier. By the way, am I the only one that calls a character a tune? T-O-O-N. I've seen people make fun of me for that in the past, which I'm perfectly fine with. But I thought that was, like, the name for a character. But apparently it's not. It used to be, I swear it used to be a thing. Alright. It's a good thing you armed a tribe. Mojambo and his gang are attacking as we speak. Slay Mojambo. We must defend the arena. Mojambo must be defeated. The outcast will take care of his gang. Mojambo is all yours. Bring Tongo's head with you and use it to challenge Mojambo to a duel. His pride is too great to resist such a challenge. Why am I the one? Fight me, bro. This guy seems like a severe pushover. Like, I some reason expected more out of him. Um, than this, but he just seems like a really easy to kill mob. Alright, they're gonna flee, of course. Suckers. Oh. Is this gonna be the end of a chapter? I don't know. Feels like it could be. So this sword would be a pretty good upgrade over one of our fist weapons, and this would be a pretty good one-handed mace. They're basically pretty similar. I think I'd take haste over versatility. So go for the sword. At last, this war be over and we can live in peace. I do not know how to thank you for all you've done. Meet with Randall Redmond. The Ashvine Trading Company has a mining operation in Red Rock Harbor. Don't let the fancy name fool you. They are as dangerous a band of pirates as I've ever seen. Recently, one of their crew members has been trying to make contact with us. I need someone to meet with him and see what he wants. It might be a trap, but whatever information he has on the Ashvane Ash Trading Company could prove useful to our survival. Alright, so which one do I want this for? Um, I'd like it to replace my lower one, and then... It'll be my main hand. That's a cool looking sword. Very blocky. Okay. Uh, wanted poster. Zaroko. Find and kill Zaroko the Grifter. To any with honor and a sharp blade. Find and kill a thief Zaroko. Those that betray their fellow exile don't deserve to live. Any who can cross his name off this list will earn a fitting reward. Okay, and our cook guy, or our chef friend, once again needs us. The Tortaka tribe. 
Meet with Torka. Have you ever met a Tertullian before? We have. Although, if we were in Voldoon to start leveling, we wouldn't have met a Tertullian yet. They have all kinds of useful scrolls and artifacts for sale. We used to trade often with the Tork... Tort... Tortaka. With the Tortaka tribe. But we haven't seen or heard from them in weeks. The tribe has a village in Darkwood Shoal. We need someone to make contact with them and reestablish our trading partnership. Anyone. Now here's the thing. I've been holding on to this, um... Wait, where's this guy? He's like right here. Let's go kill the, uh, Grifter. I mean, if the Grifter is, like, right here, I might as well kill him. Let's see if I can sign up in time to join these people. Declined. Scumbags. Maybe they were done. Maybe I was too hasty to call them scumbags. <laughs> Alright, let's see if I can do this on my own. Every for himself. Kill or be killed. Oh, he's not stunnable, but I can interrupt some of his garbage stuff at least. Oh. Why did Will the Forsaken? Is it autocast now? That was interesting. I, I swear they just auto-casted. I don't know why I keep trying to stun him. That's a mistake. Oh, so I'm about to get feared again. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. I should have kicked that. That was bad. I'm dead. Am I gonna live? What is this? Recently adapted to control. Okay. Well, I almost soloed him. I probably could have. I probably could. If I. I don't know. I probably could. I, I feel like it's close enough. Um. What would I do differently? I don't know. I'm not gonna worry about it right now. We've got some quests to do down here anyway. Also a chest up upstairs, maybe? Up, up there somewhere? Let's go grab that chest real quick. Um, I try to stun him twice. The first time makes sense, right? You try to stun someone that you see doesn't work, that's fair. I don't know why I tried a second time, that was a mistake. Okay, I think I can loot this from here. Yeah, easy. There we go. Deadly boss mobs, mobs is in the way a little bit. Alright, we're getting out of here. The old fashioned way. Jumping off a cliff. Alright. You know what I never use is gouge. Seriously, I probably gouge people like once a year. I should use it more. In PvP, I use gouge a lot. Like, well, I used to use gouge a lot when I PvP'd <laughs> uh, more. But the arid basin, okay, we're here. There are spiders. So we're looking for a Tortolian. Is that what we're looking for? I think. Uh no, no, this is that this is Randall Redmond. Okay, different quest, different quest. Um, oh yeah, yeah. Tertullian our way up there. Okay, okay. The Ashbane Trading Co. You look like the kind of undead that likes to make some coin. Am I wrong or am I right? Okay. Um, kill the remaining members of Randall's expedition party. Oh god, okay. I'm gonna employ this guy's a traitor. <clears throat> I'm an employee at the Ashbane Company. We're number one in the Azerite trade. I don't know if the Goblin guys would agree with that. When I took this job, no one told me it would be a one-way trip. I'd do just about anything to escape these dunes, including working with you. Maybe we can help each other out. I'd be willing to part with the code to the captain's lockbox if you're willing to help me escape. For my plan to succeed, my expedition party needs to die. Smooth sailing. 
Where's our buddy at? Okay. I'm gonna just ninja those quests. Uh, not ninja, but just like grab them real fast and then run back up here. Um. Yeah. I basically just said on my way in party chat. We can definitely solo this if I almost did it myself. I just hope this person's actually here. Um, there we go, let's do it. This will be super easy. Every troll for himself! Kill or be killed! Why do I have aggro? I don't want aggro. That's fine. It's extra DPS that matters here. I'm trying to avoid all the spells. That, that time he casted corruption. I don't think I'd seen him cast corruption before. Yeah, there we go. Um, all right, super dead. Almost easy. Thanks. My blood is on. What's this? Oh, it's a chair. I was like, oh, he dropped something. It's a stool. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I was excited. I was like, oh, cool. I get a. I, he like dropped some lootable, like interactable item. Maybe it's like a phylactery or something. Nope. It was a stool that was next to him that I didn't see because I'm <laughs> uh, not the most observant sometimes. All right, let's turn in this quest, and I think we're gonna wrap up here today. Actually, um, let's let's see where this leads us. Hello. Uh, Zoroko got what he deserved, and now so will the you. What? Oh, oh God! I was like, what? <laughs> it's like my heart be still. I thought he was about to uh, like coo me or something. Like, can I? Oh, wow. Okay, so we grabbed a couple quests down here with the pirate guys. We have a quest that I still want to do really badly over here. I guess I can delist my group. I'm done. Um, there's also... I want to check out this quest. What is this? Uh, lost in... Which quest is lost? Lost, lost. Miki. These are goblins? What were they supposed to be? Or the little rat people? The vol... 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 Somethings? I don't recall. I'm gonna run all the way over here and oh, I guess I could have probably gone up there, probably been better. Please don't daze me. You scumbags. Vanish is up, thankfully. Ah, uh, Miki, the Vold Dunai. Corpse. Sad. Miki has been stabbed multiple times. He's clearly dead. Well, that answers that. Get out of here. Okay. Huh. Death first mate Jamboya. Just be cursed land undead. Just be a cursed land undead. Am I taking damage? Oh, okay. No. Feel it in your bones, the cold chill of death and undeath. Use first mate Jamboya's medallion to view a vision of his past. The pirate king Zemlan rules this port with his crew of the eternal damned. If you be looking for honor or noble adventure, you won't find it here. But if you can settle for vengeance and treasure, I got an offer for you. You should know who you be allying with. My hands are not clean in this. Take the medallion from my cloak and use it to reveal a vision of my past at the end of the dock. The gods to the okay. Side note. In vanilla, what would have happened here is... You would have had to walk much farther than just the end of the dock. Let's say, instead of just down here, it would have been like maybe this dock. Like, you know, not too far, but a little bit farther. You would have gotten there and realized you forgot to actually loot the medallion off his cloak, which you would have had to physically click. And you would have had to run back here, click his cloak, and then go back. There's always those quests that made you like, don't use this item to do something, but the item wasn't given to you. You had to actually pick it up off the table next to the quest giver or something. Um, and those were always kind of amusing to me. Rub the medallion, revealing a vision. This is Jamboya.
Then be dead, you fruitless scraps. Whoa. GG. Is that person hovering? The heck? Levitate. Okay, that makes sense. It just looks funny. Like, I've never seen modern levitation, I guess. Old school levitate used to run still. You just would run on top of stuff. I guess now it looks like it should float. They say uh, you have the air of the throne. That was where it all began. I could have stopped Zemlan right there. I could have prevented this fate for the crew. Instead, I led them straight into it. Free first mate, Jemboya. <laughs> I used to be a Zandalari super dead. Long ago, before this curse, we were all Zandalari pirates proudly sailing under the black flag of our captain, Zemlan. Now look at us. Undead monsters forced to serve our eternal captain like slaves. Well, I'd be done with this. The curse can't be broken, but we can still mutiny. What say you? It's gonna be tough, but I promise a treasure and a chance to kill the notorious pirate king Zemlan who murdered your Volpera friend. Help me down, and we'll be getting started. Sure, it sounds like a trap, but whatever. So it'd be mutiny. Cool. So is he also an undead now? That the the pirate king? Do you want something? Um, the yard arm of the law. Free quartermaster Tomac, Gunnar, Ba, Sanya, and Dukan Dukanja the Snitch. I'm not the only pirate Zem Zemlan has had strung up around here, up around the port. Hanging on the yard arm is his favorite form of punishment for the crew. We can't feel pain and don't stay dead, so his options are limited. Wait, what? Okay. Look for more crewmates hanging around town. Tell them to meet me here after you freed him. After weeks of hanging helplessly while being mocked and abused by the rest of the crew, I bet they'd be willing to discuss mutiny. Okay. Uh, use first major boy's medallion to witness visions of his past. Okay. The curse came one fateful day in ages past when the Sethrak attacked. There was no end to them. In our desperation, I helped Pirate King Zemlan do the unthinkable. We became monsters. Even worse, we became eternal slaves to Zemlan. The curse weighs heavy on me. So this is this guy's fault, partially, for making them all undead. He did so because they were going to die anyway, it sounded like, from the onslaught that was oncoming. And they decided to go with this route. This is very Pirates of the Caribbean feeling. But my guilt is heavier. I led me crew into this. Before we confront the Pirate King himself, you need to understand what we'd be up against. You need to see what happened the day that day. <laughs> the day that day. The day that the port of Zemlan fell. Tongue twister. Alright, I'm going to go kill this rare spawn out here. And then I'm going to wrap it for today. Um, if I can find the rare spawn, and if I can actually even kill it. Oh, let me get to him. Let me tag him, let me tag him, let me tag him. Come on. So close, how am I not? There we go. Got him. Oh, that's an alliance anyway, it doesn't matter. What's it use? Is the lion's gonna attack me? It's a big shield in this guy. I realized after I tagged him, I was like, oh, that's actually just an alliance. So I can't even tag him. Okay. We're gonna wait for this guy to respawn and we'll kill him and. Oh, are we gonna wait? Eh. We'll be back. We'll be back. I can just. I can hearth. Um. I think it's like up to a five minute wait for these guys to respawn. Two to five minutes. We'll be back here next episode doing this exact area. So let's go back. Anyway, so today we hit 117. We um, defended the little troll camp over there. I call it a camp, but it's not really a camp. Um, Atulamon. So that's the quest we're still on here. So Atulamon. I'm not the quest, but it's... Hmm. I wonder if this pirate quest is related to a Tulamon. I guess it, it's more the Temple of Akunda that we've been questing at recently, I think, but... Interesting. Um, I haven't mentioned it yet, but as always, this video is sponsored by Voodoo Realm, so please check them out at voodoo-realm.com. 
um, and buy a t-shirt for yourself much like this one. Um, but with that said, I think next time we'll come back here and finish up all these southern quests, and then we'll finally get back up here to the uh, Veseric and Missing Key quest. So anyway, um, that is all for today, so thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.